Before I start this video, I think it's really important for me to talk about everything that is happening in America with the with the Black Lives Matter protest and, and everything that has happened involving the death of George Floyd. It is so important that we are talking about these things always and as white people we are being allies and talking about these things not just posting things on Instagram when the story is going to end not just posting it one day and thinking that we've done our job for the day is that we are calling these things out constantly we are talking about these things we are sharing we are donating we are signing campaigns we are doing as much as we possibly can to help everyone that is involved right now I'm going to link in the description a amazing document with uh, with all the different campaigns that you can get involved with where you can donate the petitions you can sign and everything will be in that document I am also going to link some amazing places with lots of information and tips if you are going to be protesting there are also going to be protests in London so I will link that information down below as well and I would like everyone to go and look at it and read it and learn and educate yourselves if you are also a white person and share these and talk about it call out racism that you see with your friends and your family step up for black people and people of color stand up for what is right because everything that gives us the rights that we have started with a riot pride originally was a riot and and black queer women stood up for that that is why pride is the thing that is why we have pride if you think about everything <laughs> the reason why people have rights and are able to do things is because of rioting and everything that's going with that so i'm going to link all that information in the description but it didn't feel right to start this video without mentioning that because just because it's pride month doesn't mean that everything that's happening is not happening um so if you can spare any money please donate and sign the petitions and share them as well and share them for people that might be able to donate as well this violence needs to stop it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting the president of the united states is off. I don't even want to, he doesn't even deserve that, he doesn't even deserve that type, he is absolutely despicable, he is despicable and um, I urge Americans to think about what is happening and look at what is happening and what he's been doing and take that energy this November. Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and fandom things. Happy Pride Month! It is June 1st, it is Pride Month. I make gay content all year round. It's all on my channel. You can go you can go watch it if you are new here and do not know what I do. But during Pride Month I obviously want to make more of an emphasis on it and this year because there's not going to be any pride events in person or any parades or anything I think it's really important to talk a lot about it and I'm going to be on other people's channels as well doing lots of different things so if you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter which is at run on the road you can see the places that I'm going to be and all the things that I'm going to be doing and I'll link them in the description box as well obviously I make a lot of videos about books and fandom things but as well as making that content this month I also really want to talk a lot about important historical events and LGBTQ plus history because that is just as important and I've also taken it upon myself to learn more about our history and all the stuff that's going on so yes that is what I want to do this month. Today I want to talk about why Pride Month is even a thing because I get a lot of questions from a lot of straight people that are like there's, there's a whole month. They get a whole month. So the reason why there is a whole month and the reason why Pride Month is in June is because of the Stonewall uprising the Stonewall riots which happened on June 28th in 1969 now for those that don't know Stonewall Inn I, I'm sure lots of people do know but just quickly Stonewall Inn gay bar in New York City and on June 28th in 1969 uh, it was raided by police and police were pulling people out dragging people out everything started people started fighting back and fighting for their rights and the rioting lasted three whole days and there were three people that were a big part of the Stonewall uprising Stormy De La Verde, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Riviera those are the three sort of faces of what happened but obviously there were so many other people as well Stormy De La Verde was a lesbian she was a bouncer 
and Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Riviera were trans women and played a huge part. They were such a huge part of the liberation and everything that happened and they actually went on to open Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries STAR which was a organisation to help homeless young drag queens, gay youth and also trans women. They had such an amazing part in everything that happened and we owe so much to them. After the Stonewall uprising that happened in the 1970s, things were starting to be sort of commemorated there was a pride day and Brenda Howard who is a bisexual woman also we have a lot to thank her for she was the one that decided that there should be a whole week of celebrations around pride day and that is what then turned into the pride month that we have today. Brenda Howard along with Robert A Martin who was also a bisexual man and Al Craig Shoemaker who was a gay man they ended up sort of coining and coming up with the, the pride phrase that we have and, and this idea of pride that is celebrated and that we have today. Pride is mostly celebrated in June to commemorate the Stonewall Uprising but in some countries and some places it is celebrated on a different month to commemorate things that have happened in that country. We've come so far, things have come so far, in so many countries now it, it is legal for LGBTQ plus people to get married, to have children, they have the same rights as, um, to have the same rights as other people which just should have been the case all along. But in these countries, even in, in the UK in which those things are widely accepted, it is still very common to experience homophobia, discrimination, prejudice, to, for the threat of being kicked for the threat of being disowned or being made homeless because of unaccepting family and mental health issues are higher in LGBTQ plus people not because they are LGBTQ plus but because of stigma and everything that surrounds being LGBTQ plus and actually LGBTQ plus people are more likely to experience mental health issues not because of being LGBTQ plus but because of everything that surrounds that for example the stigma and discrimination and the worries that LGBTQ plus people face daily and those are countries in which those that is legal there is still 70 plus countries in which just being gay is illegal not just gay marriage but actually being gay and the punishments for that are between 1 to 14 years imprisonment or life imprisonment corporal punishment death by stone in one country it was a massive fine and 100 lashes there are fines for all of it there is no such thing as gender reassignment surgery there is no support for transgender people at all with hormones and different types of treatment it is just not even acknowledged and that is still happening in a huge amount of places around the world and i think that coming from a country in which those things are allowed people can forget about what's happening in places where it's not and the punishment and everything that people are still facing like equality is not equality until it is equality until kill these people that are in these countries that have to hide aspects of themselves that have to live a life that is not the life they deserve to live because they deserve to live their true life and the life that is truly them and that is what is important they don't get to do that they don't get to live that life because they are surrounded by a country of people leaders family that are not going to support them and it's awful and it is so awful to know that that is happening in so many places and that is why it's so important to still be talking about these things to still be having these events to still be fighting for things to be legalized for things to still be fighting for rights because not everyone has them and you can't just think well okay well some countries do and that's fine and stop shoving it down our throats and stop doing it it's like oh, the amount of people i've heard like the amount of people that said to me stop shoving it down my throat i go on your instagram and it's just so gay shut up shut up because i'm not going to stop talking about it until everyone gets the same thing and i think if you are a straight person you also should be fighting for that because it's not right so is you know even in texas still being gay was illegal up until 2003 2003 so many things there are so many things to fight for all the links to everything will be in the description so please 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 donate to black lives matter anything helps there are so many different funds that are being raised at the minute any little tiny bit helps even like every dollar every pound everything counts so please please if you can 
everything will be in the description down below please go and sign the petitions please go and sign the petitions there has to be justice for the people that are being killed there has to be these police officers have to be held accountable for the damage that they are doing for the lives that they are taking and the abuse that they are putting on so many people so all of that is in the description don't stop talking about it don't stop sharing don't stop being angry because we have to keep so we have to keep using our voices as white people we have a privilege that is a privilege the color of our skin will never be one of those struggles and we have to realize that privilege and we have to use it so everything's in the description please go and look at everything like I said, if you guys are new here, then I make videos a couple of times a week about books and fandom things, but I am making a video every day in June. And as usual, all the links on my other social medias and everything will be in the description too. I hope you guys are doing really, 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 really well. Please be staying safe. Please, if you are protesting, please stay safe. Look after yourselves. You're doing an amazing thing and using your voices and it's incredible. I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.